Hello everyone, welcome back. So student, now today we are going to learn the causes of increasing factor and diminishing factor as this topic is related to the previous topic which is law of variable proportion. So let's start. Here we are first starting with causes of increasing return to factor. Increasing return to factor is that position in which total product and marginal product is increasing. This is also known as first stage. As in the previous class, I have told you there are three stages. So this is first stage. So what are the causes? Let's start. First is fuller utilization of fixed factor. In the initial stage, fixed factor machine remain underutilized. Only variable factor is fully utilized to increase marginal product. So first cause is tell us that only the variable factor are being fully utilized but in the initial stage the factor which is fixed factor like machine are being underutilized which means that machine is not going to be fully utilized. Fuller utilization means when the resources are fully utilized there is no wastage. So in the initial stage machine or a fixed factor are not fully utilized only variable factor are fully utilized. Okay. Now the second cause is division of labor and increase in efficiency. Additional application of variable factor enable division of labor. Specialized worker is used for production. This increase efficiency. So basically division of labor means when a particular work is divided between the labors. Okay. So that there will be no burden in a particular labor. That is known as division of labor. Due to division of labor, efficiency is also increased. Efficiency means speed of the worker and they have to be completed that work on a particular time. So due to the division of labor, their efficiency also increased. So the statement itself states that, that additional application of variable factor enable division of labor. Okay. When the labor, when the variable factor are additionally utilized due to which division of labor causes Specialized worker is used for production as now the labor has been divided for a particular work. The particular work required which kind of labor will be provided to that work only due to which specialization can be provided to them which increase the efficiency. Due to the specialized worker efficiency will also increase. For example, in a house there are two types of work pending. One work is for plumber and second one work is for electrical. Now here the labor is divided. Now the worker provided for electrical work. Only electrician will be provided to that work and plumber required for the plumbing work. So here you can see that I had divided the worker for different work. But the worker provided to that work are specialized for that work only. Okay, because electrician know how to fit the electrical applicables and plumber know how to fix the plumbing problems. Okay, so this is known as division of labor and due to specialized worker, their work efficiency will increase as they know how to operate. Okay, now the third one is better coordination between the factors. Between the factor means fixed factor and variable factor. So as of the fixed factor are underutilized, as we can see that the fixed factor are underutilized, additional application of variable factor tend to improve coordination between fixed and variable factor as a result MP and PP increase at an increasing rate. Means that as we all know that in the initial stage, in the first stage, the capital or the fixed factor like machine are underutilized. But for completing their deficiency, we utilize variable factors as more and more to make a balance between them, to make a coordination between them. Okay, so it causes a better coordination between the factor. Means any deficiency related to the fixed factor will be fulfilled by the variable factor. Okay class, now we are going to discuss the causes of diminishing return to factor. Diminishing return means when MP is going to be declined and PP will increase at a diminishing rate. And there will be a position when marginal product becomes zero and negative. When it becomes negative, total product will go, go to decline. As you can see in the previous question also. Okay, so let's start. First is fixity of factor. Is the principal causes behind law of diminishing return. As more a unit of variable factor are combined with fixed factor due to which greater loss in efficiency hence diminishing return. It means when the more and more variable factor are utilized, more and more labor are utilized, there will be always an underutilization of capital. 
or fixed factor due to which there will be a condition arise that the position of marginal product will go on the diminishing return due to which total product will also increase at a diminishing rate and there will be one type as a position where total product going to be declined because there are two factors which is one is fixed factor and second is variable factor they always fixed and variable factor will always rise if the utilization of both the factor will be done properly but as we can see always the fixed factor are under utilized and the variable factor are utilized more and more okay so there will be a condition when at a time variable factor will be stop utilizing because due to uh, lack of labor and the capital are always being under utilized now the third second one is imperfect factor substitute substitutability substitutability means that fixed factor and variable factor are not substitute of each other as you can see tea and coffee are the better substitute for each other but capital and labor are not a better substitute of each other they are always remain same so factor of production are imperfect substitute of each other as more and more labor cannot replace capital as you can see if i am having 5000 of labor and i am having 10 machines 5000 labor cannot replace the machines or machine cannot replace the labor also so that's why they are not a perfect substitute of each other now the third one is poor coordination between the factors between the factor means variable factor and fixed factor increasing application of variable factor disturb the idle factor ratio so there will be an idle factor ratio for example if there is one machine 10 labor is utilized so the ratio will be 1 is to 10 for an example okay but as we can see in this condition that the fixed factor are always being under utilized they are utilized but very less and the labor or the variable factor is utilized more and more so there will be a, no, there, there is no ideal ratio between the two factor hence result in poor coordination between the factor and diminishing return means that if there is an if there is not an ideal ratio between the factors always there will be a diminishing return okay class if there is any query regarding this topic please ask okay thank you very much